Hey everyone, Joel Viner here. Happy New Year. You know, it's been almost a month since I've done a video and I've just had a few things going on. As you can see, the background has changed. Um, I'm, this is actually in the spare room and I'm making this into, basically into an office. So, um, yeah, I'm only halfway through finished but when I um, when I finish this I will actually do like a kind of like a tour kind of thing um, but it's all the whole room is gonna be black and um, green um, so today I just wanted to talk about New Year's resolutions because I know everyone makes them every year and after a certain time people have given up on them because they basically broke them it happens um, I've done it. I've done it myself. Uh, you know, I've broken every last single one this year. <laughs> uh, so I'm just trying to get comfortable. Um, so yeah, I've broken every last single one this year. But, here's the thing, and this is the advice that I, I'm giving to everyone. Um, just because you break a New Year's resolution doesn't mean that you can't then go back to it and try again. So, say with, um, just say that you want to lose weight. Most people want to lose weight, okay? So, my personal resolution was this year I would not eat takeaways at all. And by the 15th of this month, I broke that resolution by having takeaway food. Uh, but you know what? I wasn't hard on myself, I was like, you know what, there was a reason why I did it, and that was because of the fact that um, I was told that there's a possibility that that business will close down, and I really, really love their pork rolls, so I had it one more time. Um, otherwise, I, I probably wouldn't have broken that resolution. I mean, I had a few others, but I've broken them, and it doesn't really matter. i just use it as an example. But, um, yeah, so, I mean... And, and, and things that goes for anyone, like anyone that's trying to lose weight, it's okay to break it and have something really, really yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> um, because the moment that you go to sleep at night and you wake up, it no longer exists. What you did that 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 day before is in the past, and that way you can start again, fresh. The moment you wake up, it's a fresh new day. You can set it back to square one and you can try again. And it does take, I've been told that it takes anything up to 30, no, 90 days for um, for something to be a lifestyle. And this is the thing, a lot of people are doing this as, as like a goal instead of a lifestyle. If you're doing it as a lifestyle, then yes, you are going to lose weight. Uh, it, it takes a long time. Um, I've managed to lose almost half a stone, which is, I think, three kilos or something like that. Um, but it does, it takes a long time. Like, when I gave up milk last year, I, I did it for ten months. And, yeah, I had a lot of cravings. It, and, it, and even then, before I did give up milk altogether, I tried on and off for about five months beforehand. Uh, and then 1st of November, I went back to having milk and sugar and honey and whatnot and eating all the yummy, 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 yummy things. But I didn't go overboard. So, starting from, from February 1st, no more milk, no more sugar. Because I'm also trying to lose the weight quickly, but also be able to make it as a lifestyle. And you know what? After about... I'd like to say after the third or fourth month, um, and this is my personal experience, when I gave up milk, for instance, and sugar, because I gave them both up at the same day on my birthday last year, which was the 24th of February, which was the last day I had sugar or milk, um, it took about four months before the cravings disappeared and it became easy. So, if you've got a resolution like you want to lose the weight, or you want to get more fitter, um, you know, it's, it's going to take about three to four months before you actually get into that routine. Like, my, my other goal is to get back into my dancing, because 
that was how I lost the weight the last two times. Uh, and I and I was actually very good at making my own dance routines and you know it's gonna take at least a good year for me to get really back into it because dance routines that I used to do I used to throw myself backwards and bounce back up and um, you know but get a little bit sidetracked um, it does take four months for you to to really um, to get out of the old habit of say eating junk food or having those cravings because your body needs to deplete all that and get used to natural eating and not have those artificial food. Um, my goal is actually this year to give up flour as well uh, because I know that flour is just as bad as sugar. So that's that's my, my resolution and I just want to let people know that it does take three sometimes four months before a resolution or even a lifestyle you know happens so don't be don't be hard on yourself if if you if you make a, a plan and you fail within the first month or so go to sleep wake up the next morning and try again that's all I can that's the only advice I can give you is all um New video in about a week. Hopefully a week. It won't, I definitely won't be as long as it has been lately. Um, and I've got some music stuff coming up hopefully next month. So, he's hoping. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys have had a good day. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye for now.